winning one of the prose poems from my book, Dear Suzanne, about the artist, Suzanne Valadon. The book is half persona poems in her voice and half episcolary poems in my voice as though I'm speaking to her. And this one was from the time I was born, April 1st, 1948. Ten years after your death, at 11 a.m. in Montmartre, I was born close to 10 p.m., a time and day that will shadow me in pranks and an early start in school. Golden fish swim in my peripheral vision. For you, Suzanne, this day was le poison d'avril, the calendar leaping Julian to Gregorian, courtesy of Charles IX in 1582. Mock gifts were sent to friends, jokes on them. Joke on me, named for Craig's grandmother, Eva Green. Grandfather Mendel waits for signs of madness. Like my aunt, Eva's lost child, we scream, won't be crazy, won't be, won't. My middle, middle name, Maureen, I discard later as I cut my father's and husband's name out of my life, becoming me alone. We change our names, we change the road we travel from birth. We find our way brick by cobblestone, pavement and hidden trails, light and dark. Earth rolls under the sun, day and night, shadow and wall. I open all the shades and push back curtains, bathing in sun, winter afternoons. It comes to this, pleasure in small doses. Your ghost circles me as Renoir painted you in pink cloth rustles in the park. I spin around this small life, a ghost to myself. What you will be, I say to this enfant, wait, 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 childhood. A time of patience. Someday it will be easier to breathe. Suzanne, I will talk to you at the end of the museum corridor, the room with Monet's portrait of his wife, Degas' bronze statue with the faded ribbon in her hair. I speak for me, Suzanne, not for your dead ears or a spirit watching all the same.